Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to be discussing all the books I hope to read in January. I have a very small TBR because I actually did the unwrapping January TBR. I did read four out of six of those books in December, so that's the reason I'm doing a January TBR. Um, despite already doing one. I have six books here, so we're just gonna dive into it. The first book I have is Den of Vipers. This is from that unwrapping my January TBR. I'm not gonna read the back of it because I already have. It's a dark romance. I'm scared for it. It's like 600 some pages, which is terrifying. Like, why is this so big? Um, but hopefully it's the first in the series, so I don't feel like I have to continue reading on. But anyways, this is the first one. It's a big boy. The second book from that video that I haven't read yet is Cleopatra and Frankenstein by Coco Mellers. I actually think this is going to be my first read of 2023. It's just gorgeous. Like, look at this cover. It's beautiful. It's a hardcover. Um, it's, it's just so, it's, it's pretty. And I'm really excited to read this. It's a contemporary romance, I think. Um, yeah, not gonna read the back of this either because I've already read the back of it, but I'm predicting this will be like a four star book. Hopefully we'll see. Moving on to the books that weren't originally on my January TBR. The first one I have is a nonfiction. I am going to try to read a nonfiction every month. I just had a revelation. I also want to read a classic. Hold on. Let me go get a classic. Okay. I don't know where I was at. Anyways, the nonfiction book I am going to be reading this month is Jesus Over Everything by Lisa Whittle. I think I got this in like November or something like that. I can't remember, but I've been wanting to read it. I was actually saving it for the new year. Um, this says we all want to live simpler lives and to put Jesus first, but we struggle with both. While we are busy strategizing new ways to streamline our calendars and clean out the clutter in our closets, what really needs attention is what will give us long-term clarity and peace. The priority order of having Jesus over everything in our lives. In a culture that carries the confusion of overindulgence, endless options, and influencer voices, the Jesus first life clears out minds and hearts of noise so our souls can find true meaning and rest. So yeah, I'm just super excited about this. Hopefully it'll give me um, some peace and quiet, you know? But yeah, that's this book. And since I went ahead and picked out a classic, I am going to start with a smaller one. Um, and this is Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. I actually have never read anything from Shakespeare, so this will be fun. And of course the cover is super cute because it's a Twilight Edition cover. So that makes it more exciting. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be reading this. I'm very excited. Um, I've never really heard anything about this, so let's let's read it. And then the last three books I have is actually a series. I have the first two, and you'll understand why these are on my January TBR. It's because the third book is coming out in January, but that is the Dream Dreamland Billionaire series. So there should just be three books because it's three brothers from like what I'm aware. And yeah, this one is about Rowan and Sasha, and this one's about Declan and Iris. And basically this story is about these three brothers who I think their grandfather dies and he's like the owner of the I think maybe it's Dreamland I'm assuming that's what it's called it's an amusement park kind of like Disney and they all have like these terms and conditions that's funny they all have these terms and conditions where they have to meet they have to meet the terms um before they can receive their inheritance so i think this one is where he has to like this one is where he just has to run it and this one is like marriage of convenience and then i think the third one he has to sell a house and yeah there are three of them like i said i'm super excited to read these i think these will honestly be like four or five stars i'm leaning towards five hopefully they're really good um but yeah those are the last three books on my january tbr you know what you guys are planning on reading in january i will have a reading vlog for my what was supposed to be my january tbr i know i didn't actually follow it but yeah let me know what you guys are reading for the new year and i will talk to you guys very soon peace and love bye guys